The Daily Express covers Awadishak's death, saying that the story shames Britain. The FT carries a plea from the Chancellor to uh, top executives that they should curb their own pay and try to consider the financial plight of their workers. The Daily Mail says the universities have been told to decolonize teaching of maths and computing and to teach about white supremacy. The Sun continues to promote its interview with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and the Daily Star reports that uh, the England World Cup team will have to listen to camels bellowing in the night when they're in their hotel in Qatar. If you want to see those front pages again and read the stories attached, scan the QR code. That... The Guardian's front page there featuring a picture of two-year-old Awab Ishak who died from prolonged exposure to mould in his family's flat. And the coroner called it a defining moment for the entire UK housing sector. And The Times reports that GPs have been told to bypass hospital doctors and fast-track scans for patients which could speed up cancer care and cut down on waiting times. Looking inside the papers this morning, this one got my attention. We know that kids today spend more time on screens, but yes. this is pretty stark, these figures, that one in three children has never written a letter wow. to anybody. Not to Santa, not to the Tooth Fairy, what? nobody. Yeah, and at the same time, 84% of them said they'd love to receive a letter. They like the idea of it, but they've just never, ever done it. We just don't write letters anymore, yeah. do we? So yeah. I guess they've probably all written an email, though. Yes, Do you email text. Santa now? Maybe you can. Maybe you text Maybe you just Santa. upload a document with your spreadsheet oh. requests and see what uh, wanted. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Do you um, remember writing your Christmas list? Yeah, we used to have to write thank you letters as well. You know, Did you? To formally write them out. Yeah, very they, they well didn't brought look up, nice. John K. Yeah. You were very well brought up. That said, um, I haven't written one for about 20 years. But yeah. <laughs> that does not surprise me. Um, I love, thank you. I love, I love this story in the Telegraph today. This is about Wrexham. Have you been watching oh, yes. the, the Wrexham docuseries yeah. that's, uh, that's been on for the last year or so? Um, Wrexham, bought by the Hollywood actor Ryan Reynolds and Rob McKelney, who they have been incredible for that town. They were given an award yesterday by the Welsh Government and they had this, this live link from the States receiving their award and thanking everybody uh, for this award. And Ryan Reynolds spoke in Welsh. She's making lots of people very excited. I was a bit cynical about that whole thing to start with and thought it was a bit of a stump, but they, they have really been they taken genuinely... to Wrexham's heart, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing that made me realise that Ryan Reynolds was truly bought into the whole thing was when he said he didn't know that much about football when he started and now he loves it so much he hates it. <laughs> Which like I think the rest tells of us. you everything you need to <laughs> yeah, know. Quite. Yeah. Now he gets it.